This is the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Thursday, October the 20th. I'm Michael Groff. Dry and very warm conditions prevailing around here for the next few days, but good news is some rain chances coming in, some unsettled weather by the end of the weekend and early next week. Right now outside, no rain chances whatsoever. Clear skies, another picture-perfect start to the day. 64 degrees right now at Sky Harbor. Dew point at 34, relative humidity 32%. Winds are calm and the barometer is rising. Temperatures around south-central Arizona and across the metro area this morning. A little out of whack. We've had some northeasterly winds last night and early this morning in spots, and that helped drive the temperatures up just a little bit. In fact, Sky Harbor actually one of the cooler spots around here this morning. Satellite picture shows clear skies across the greater southwest. Watch warning map is relatively quiet. Wind advisory in portions of the Colorado River today. Frost and freeze advisories in Utah and Colorado. That's a freezing fog advisory in eastern Montana. And a dense fog advisory, portions of the Gulf Coast, including Gulf Shores over toward Mobile, Alabama and Pensacola. On the convective outlook, a marginal risk of severe weather today extending all the way from Jackson, Mississippi to Birmingham all the way up toward Rochester. And there is a slight risk of severe weather today around Pittsburgh over toward Altoona, Pennsylvania. As far as our weather goes, we'll talk about it. Let's take a look at the models right now. This is the GFS, the 06Z run, valid at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time today. Trough heading into the east. Big trough and low pressure area in the Gulf of Alaska. Sandwiched in between a ridge over the greater southwest. And that means dry and warm conditions around here today. A little bit breezy by this afternoon, perhaps. Some easterly winds picking up around 15 to 20 miles an hour, but... Overall, dry weather, sunny skies, high temperatures climbing well above normal into the middle 90s today. Tonight, clear skies, warm, lows mid-60s to lower 70s. And then tomorrow, another very warm day with sunny skies. Officially, we're going for about 97 tomorrow afternoon. And that will be around 10 degrees above normal. Not quite record high temperatures. Uh, that's, I believe, the record high for tomorrow, 102. But we will be... In that ballpark, Saturday, another very warm day, but we do note some showers and thunderstorms across portions of northwest Mexico as moisture slowly begins to increase down there. We'll still have another warm day with highs in the middle 90s. Some desert spots pushing the 100 degree mark in southeast California and southwest Arizona. On Sunday, deepening low pressure off the west coast combined with high pressure to the east means broad south-southwesterly flow around here. We'll start to import more moisture into the area. Clouds will be on the increase, and there could be some widely scattered showers and thunderstorms developing across the state late in the day. And I think that, for the most part, the action will be over northern and eastern Arizona, but can't rule out at least an isolated shower or storm here, so we'll call it a 10% chance of rain. High temperatures mainly in the low 90s, a little bit cooler with the added clouds and precipitation chances. See, precipitable water will be on the increase, so certainly the moisture will be with us. Values going up toward around 1.2 inches around here, so that's a sign of good things to come because by Monday, that south-southwest flow brings in more moisture. Think it's a mostly cloudy day. Scattered showers and thunderstorms around here. We'll call it a 30% chance. And high temperatures held back into the mid to upper 80s. Now, this is not going to be an all-day washout kind of a rain event. But some ingredients coming together to give us at least good chances for rain. Look at this. Precipitable water values climbing up to around 1.3 inches. That's certainly up around, oh, the 90th, 95th percentile for late October. And we'll have some lift especially in the afternoon hours, combined with some cape. So that means there'll be some thunder chances around here as well. And if we get that, then there could be an isolated spot that sees some heavier rain. Speaking of rainfall, that's the big question everybody wants to know. How much rain are we actually going to get out of this? And, well, maybe a quarter to a third of an inch around the Phoenix metro area. Now, of course, as always, understand the rainfall distribution won't quite look like this, but... You get the idea. A fair number of places around Arizona will see some kind of measurable rain. Uh, certainly not going to be a heavy rain or a flash flood event, but a good rainfall uh, for many of us. So that sounds very promising. By Tuesday, we start to dry out and uh, maybe a few showers or storms in eastern Arizona. But 
we should just be partly cloudy, high temperatures mainly in the mid to upper 80s. Wednesday, low pressure off the west coast, some rainfall heading into northern California. Could be partly cloudy around here, but high pressure will prevail and keep the storms at bay. So we'll have highs again, upper 80s to about 90. And this is a week from today, Thursday, October the 27th. High pressure extending from northwest Mexico all the way into western Canada. Deep trough off the west coast, but we will still be dry. Rainfall won't be far away, though, from about the L.A. basin north to western Oregon and Washington. They'll see chances for rain, but around here we should stay dry. This is Friday, October the 28th. Ridging starts to slide a little bit to the east toward the central plains. Still have ridging across northwest Mexico as well. Southwesterly flow around here. A little bit of energy starts to slide inland. And we may get brushed by by a trough in northern Arizona. But think our rain chances would be pretty minimal in that scenario. High temperatures would stay mainly in the mid to upper 80s. And this is the end of the forecast period, Saturday, October the 29th. Quite a blocking pattern in place. Low is just stuck off the west coast. Ridging is stuck over the greater southwest. Not going to change anytime soon. Temperatures should remain above normal. Speaking of those temperatures, look at this. Yeah, warm today through Saturday. A little bit cooler Sunday. Think we could even be cooler than that on Monday. And then we'll stay above normal through at least the next 7 to 10 days or so. Gradually, temperatures should cool off as we head toward the very end of the month in early November, as you would expect around here. And that's a look at the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. Our next video comes at you tomorrow morning. Thank you so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. Have a great Thursday.